think I'm gonna get off on 153 and actually go the back way into Saudi Daisy uh, to kind of show you uh, what the village of Saudi Daisy looks like. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. turn right here onto uh, the Chickamong Dam or Dayton Pike 153 south uh, however I'm going to take the Dayton Pike and go north um, I believe that's what it would be north thought that was going to be a lot worse than what it was that actually wasn't bad at all <laughs> so if you look right here i'm guessing they're trying to build the road and maybe something else up there uh they've been working on that since we've been here so um i'm not sure exactly i just know they're digging in the side of it um i'm always afraid that once they dig deep enough or dig too far then when it rains it's just going to wash all that off uh which is kind of weird uh, but anyway, so, and I moved down here back in, uh, I feel like April. Um, so they've been working on that for almost a year now. Um, and now, like I said, they, they got a little road there, but I don't know what else they're going to go. Oh, they're actually working on this house and now it's up for sale. It looks like, um, when I first moved down here, that property that we just passed back there, uh, that house was like overgrown with trees and all kinds of stuff. The wood was like, the whole inside of the house was exposed to the weather. So if there's anything in there that shouldn't have been exposed to the weather, uh, it definitely was. So, but it looks like they've, they've come quite a bit of ways now. So that's kind of cool. We have, we've had abundance of rain too, and you'll see like some of the creeks and the water over here to the uh, right in that pasture, um, like is quite deep. Um, and we'll drive over this river up here that for the most part of summer has been completely dry. And now um, it actually has flowing water, which is kind of cool. Um, Considering like the whole time we've been down here until uh, maybe two months ago, uh, it would rain a little bit, it would have a little bit of water in there, and then it would dry up within the next day. And now, like I said, the water's actually flowing pretty good. Uh, so. <clears throat> this first stoplight that's coming up up here uh, will be Thrasher Pike. That actually crosses 27, and then we'll run all the way to the Hickson Pike. Uh, so, just figured I'd share that with you.
so weird too that Thrasher Pike kind of runs into a residential neighborhood considering that high that's the road that leads onto the highway um, a while back when I was down here by myself I think living uh, before my significant other moved down um, I thought the next stoplight was actually Thrasher Pike but however that's an industrial park uh, so I was back there and I'm like I know this goes to the highway However, it didn't. It just went into a circle, and then basically I had a dead end, and I had to turn around and come out, and then I'm like, oh, this is Thrasher Pike down here. So um, I learned really quick after that. So creek i'm talking about like again it has been empty for the most part since we've been down here and you still get the water flowing now i mean that is just ridiculous like th that water hasn't been like that since we've been down here it was dry like for the most part of the summer and that water comes off the mountain uh so um that tells you how much rain like i said uh, nowhere near there's been a couple creeks in there uh with water uh, but nowhere near as flowing as it is now, which is really interesting. So, again, this is all part of Saudi Daisy. Um, it's weird because the town is further down when you think that it should be, uh, like, by Walmart or something. But they actually have a downtown area. Uh, I won't be going that far. So, um, but I figured I'd share that with you. veteran uh, park here Saudi Daisy Veteran Park off to the left that's where I go walking sometimes probably need to do more but obviously it's too cold right now so I'll pass on the walk <laughs> You'll end up having Walmart and a little shopping center coming up here to the uh, right. And then all the other little uh, convenience stores, like your name brand stores as far as like uh, Taco Bell, Bojangles, uh, Zaxby's, uh, Wendy's, Dollar General or Dollar Tree, CVS, Walgreens. This is all like the shopping area more or less. Um, and then if you can't get it here, then you'd be able to get it in Hickson um, at the stores over there. Um, if you can't get it in Hickson, then East Brainer is probably the place to get it, which is near the Hamilton Par uh, Hamilton Place Mall. It was my understanding that that Hamilton Place Mall in East Brainer, uh, somebody had said it was like the biggest uh, mall in Tennessee. However, uh, that I believe has been debunked, and I believe that the biggest mall is actually in Knoxville. Um, don't quote me on any of that stuff. I it's, Again, this is stuff that I've heard from uh, a Saudi Daisy group or Chattanooga group that I belong to. Uh, so, again, I'm just learning all the stuff from hearing it. and Some of the stuff I should probably just have going through one ear and out the other. Uh, so... All right, so again, Walmart's to the right and all your little fast food restaurants uh, i think i'm gonna end the video there i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you on the next